my name is Kate Lamb. Um, and my daughter Ellie was diagnosed at the age of nine with Philadelphia positive acute lymphoblastic leukemia. The teachers were, told me that she was very tired at school. Or she was cold, she was shivering, she had lots of jumpers on and we went for this blood test. That night we got the phone call. She actually had um, ALL with a twist, which was uh, in the form of uh, the Philadelphia chromosome. The moment that you're about to enter an oncology ward with your child is like you're on the edge of a precipice and you're about to step off into an abyss. She just wanted to go home. She was just, you know, when am I going home? I think she probably heard the word cancer, um, but she didn't really have an appreciation of you know, the, the gravity of that diagnosis. I think the hardest part is when you kept, when I kept having needles put into me. It wasn't the best thing. This drug that she was prescribed called um, imatinib, and it was in the form of a tablet that target specific uh, cells and, and have a more targeted approach. That amazed me, and to think that if she'd been born 10 years earlier, if this had happened 10 years ago, um, her odds of survival would be very, very different. Um, and I mean, at one point, I think somebody has quoted me something like 10% survival rate, you know, and it's gone from that to being almost as, as good as, as the uh, most common ALL. That to me is amazing, and it really, really brought it very much home to me how important research is in developing new drugs, new techniques, safer treatment. So she is now a year post-transplant and is recovering well. She's making a good recovery. I support Children with Cancer UK because um, it's specific for children. I didn't realise um, that cancer was any different in children and I've since learnt that yes it does matter, it is very different and, and that's really why um, I support it. Please support this very worthy charity because without support uh, this charity can't fund the research and without the research many many children would just simply not be here. <laughs>